Hey, I'm Scott from RedmondPhysicsTutoring.com, and this video will help you master unit conversions. I'll start with a single step conversion. The amount I start with goes on the left, and what I get goes on the right. In the middle, I multiply by a conversion factor with the top and bottom equal. These are in green. I divide by the units I have in red, so they cancel out, and multiply by the units I want in blue, so they show up on the right. Here's a quick example. Converting 60 pounds to newtons. 1 pound is equal to 4.45 newtons, and I want to cancel out the pounds, so for the conversion factor, I put 1 pound on the bottom, then 4.45 newtons on top. 60 times 4.45 is equal to 267, so 60 pounds is 267 newtons. That's pretty simple. How about a multi-step problem like converting 19 meters to inches? Just chain the conversion factors together. I can look up the conversion factors. 1 meter is 100 centimeters, 1 foot is 12 inches, and 1 inch is 2.54 centimeters. If you're not sure what to use, just write them down and link them together visually on paper. I'm starting with meters, and I want inches. I can go from meters to centimeters, and then from centimeters to inches. Nice. I put 19 meters on the left, and I want to get rid of meters, so I put meters on the bottom of the conversion factor, and then centimeters on the top. Then I'll go from centimeters to inches, so I put 2.54 centimeters on the bottom of the next conversion factor, and 1 inch on the top. Finally, I multiply it out. 19 times 100 divided by 2.54 is equal to 748, so 19 meters is equal to 748 inches. Now, how about multiple units? In Back to the Future, the DeLorean has a takeoff speed of 88 miles per hour. How fast is that in meters per second? Now we have to convert miles to meters and hours to seconds. I'll start with miles. One mile is 5,280 feet. One foot is 12 inches, one inch is 2.54 centimeters, and 100 centimeters is one meter. Then I'll do hours. So one hour is 60 minutes and one minute is 60 seconds. Notice that I start with miles and hours and end with meters and seconds, which is what we want. So I put 88 miles over one hour on the left and then start filling in the conversion factors. I put miles on the bottom to cancel it out with feet on top, then feet on the bottom for the next one and inches on top, then inches on the bottom and centimeters on top, then centimeters on the bottom and meters on top. That converts the miles to meters, but I still need to convert hours to seconds. The hours were originally on the bottom, so I need to put them on the top in the conversion factor to cancel them out. That means I need to put minutes on the bottom here and then minutes on top and seconds on the bottom for the last conversion factor. This all works out to 88 times 5280 times 12 times 2.54 divided by 100 divided by 60 divided by 60 and gives 39.3 meters per second. If you prefer, you can do it one step at a time. It takes longer to write, but you're less likely to make a mistake. I really hope this helps you out. If so, please like this video to let me know. Good luck!